a creative explosion has created public awareness that in situations of real regulation, accidents that are related to mining operations can occur in areas that are far away from active mining sites. In a situation of weak regulatory enforcement in the transport of explosives, what happened in Apiati could have happened in any part of Ghana. A critical assessment of the negative effects of the explosion on the people of Apiati reveals different dimensions of the impact on the people, including but not limited to the loss of livelihood of the community people, destruction of personal properties, physical and economic displacement, health impacts, fatality, that is deaths, impact on education, social disorientation, and de which is defined as a process of economic activity reorientation, occupational adjustment, and special realignment of human settlement away from agrarian parties. Our country has many lessons to learn from the Apiati explosion, but the hard question is, do we learn from the painful experiences like the Apiati explosion? I think majority of people who would share my view that as a nation, we have a culture of bemoaning unpleasant occurrences of public interest for short periods, and then fail to take preventive measures to avoid similar occurrences in the future. What measures are in place to hold the company in the center of the explosion responsible for the payment of adequate compensation to the victims of destruction of their properties, including buildings and personal properties, long-term health impacts on victims, loss of livelihoods, fatalities among others? We are aware that the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources constituted the fact-finding committee and the report has been submitted, but it has not been made public. This is of serious concern because the Apiati explosion is of major public interest. The aim of today's discussion is to mark the one year of the Apiati explosion, express solidarity with the affected people, demand transparency for the causes and effects of the incident on the people of Apiati, so that we can hold the duty bearers and the company accountable on the basis of knowledge and to ensure that our nation does not lose focus on the hard lessons of the Apiati Explosion for our generation and generations after us. We are marking the one year pain of the people of Apiati, some of whom continue to live in tents and on the charity of benevolent people without knowing when they will be restored to their pre previous life of dignity and social cohesion. We are marking the one year of the Apiati Explosion to express our unhappiness about, about the lack of transparency in relation to the report of the Apiati Fact Finding Committee and to remind government that issues of publicity are important issues for public discussions. Report duly launched.